Ngi bingi le ringi na nonge. Welcome to Emma Kuzini TV. Gizo bingi host yangu fulle channeli. La pengine bingi pako no la zulu sinta sinta itenda isuli kamu. Egi za zingi fisi kuzi na sisi zona so ni kwa lugusi ni like ni comment ni pindi ni subscribe mu wakuti. Na we enjoy my sessions with. So first things first. Um, I've noticed to kuzi on this platform. I've been speaking even a kulu. I've been speaking a sisi zulu kulu. And I will try by all means to speak English and accommodate everybody. My English is not that good, so I'm just looking to mix and use Zulu because I'm good at Zulu and Kwiyan. And um, I had originally came with the topic of on candles, but through research that I've made, I saw that there are many videos on YouTube and other platforms for teen. Where people speak on candles, so I thought maybe in using Zulu more about something more different like amateurs. So today's topic is on amateurs. Let's get to it. Um, I'm here to speak um on um five specifically five or six different types of amateurs. Now the first one that I want to talk about is the white one, the white ijaz, white cloth. And you're calling me a pigger. I'm just gonna talk about the white ijaz. Okay, the white ijazi represents is it tonya, um, zezulu, and or is it tonya zgamoya, right? So people who have these types of amajazi are the people who are more inclined or very gifted in or with prayer. These are the types of people that you want them to pray for you whether it's praying for your water whether it's praying for impande yako whether it's praying just big big and just pray for you you know let them put their hands on you and pray for you these people are chain breakers when it comes to praying they are very gifted through praying these are the type of people who when you go and consult to them you'll most likely hear them saying Gizwa umuntu eti, or you will most likely hear them saying Gizwa kutiwa. Um, not necessarily kuti they are hearing somebody say something. These are the type of people who shola, or I don't know what is to shola, because shola is also such mean. These are the type of people who 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 who. When when you go to them for a consultation. They receive their messages, the messages from their ancestors. They receive them through the form of thought patterns. They are clear cognizant. They, they receive them in the sense of they just know something. You understand? These are the type of people who have you ever been like? Let me make an example. Have you ever been lying in bed? You know, lelim petini, and then, um, like you're lying in bed. And then you're thinking to yourself in Jelabo, and then you 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 hear you hear or like you're thinking by yourself, and then somebody or like you a thought comes by that says, "Pray for somebody, like pray for your mother, pray for your sister, pray for your child, pray for your friend, just pray for them." Those are are not your thoughts per se, but they are messages from your ancestors. You understand these people are these types of people. Now you don't understand those thoughts because you are not maybe um what can I say? Nothing being as well. I work about trial guys. I want to back in because we are going to maybe cool now. So that's why ungas. Ngin jule lapa peka zungu zinye be motega cool. Single four minutes. The second one I want to uh, I want to speak about is the 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 the. the the green one the green one usually imele is algazi can be amakesha sometimes but usually is is algazi the green one imele tsunyo zentaba zitsunyo zentaba les um they are what we call nature spirits you know or um ama nature spirits or Yeah, in English is what is called nature spirit. These people, 
uh, very very gifted in anything that has to deal with herbs or bath salts iwasho namakambi these people are very 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 gifted in dealing with that if these people give you herbs or iwasho bath salts most likely those things are going to be magical on you they will work wonders on you because these people are naturally gifted in that you know because where do you find herbs you find herbs in dubbing you understand so these people know herbs they know iwash these are the type of people who who heal is with herbs those with they heal through um, prayer these people heal lots through herbs not that they don't use water they use water number but mostly it's iwasho and herbs uh these are the type of people who when they 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 show up for you or you go and do a consultation with them you're most likely going to hear them saying gaze or umun to 18 these are the ones abazwa who are clear audience these people are clear audience those with each other in Shope are clear cognizant, they just know. Those with each other elite green are clear audient. Usually uh nomlozi um tola la e tunyoni zendaba or e tunya zapezum. You understand? Let me not make this long longer than it has to be. Let me move on to the next one. Now, next, we are going to speak about Ejaz Eli Blue. Ejaz Eli Blue, gege lapo sos koluma kuna nga makel. Zitunyo le zitunyo azamanzi. These people walk with water. These are people who are more connected than any other thing to water. Yes, somebody who wears Ejaz Eli Green can take you to the waters. Yes, somebody who wears Ejaz Eli Mshopi can take you to the waters. But what I always advise people is that if you want somebody to pray for you, go to people who wear the white jazz. If you want somebody to 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 give you herbs or to give you iwash or bath salts, go to somebody who uh, wears the green jazz. If you want somebody to take you empulene, empopomene, eloanle, anywhere that has water. Go to somebody who has the blue uh, jersey because they are more connected <clears throat> than any of them with the water. These are the types of people who, when they speak to the water, the water speaks back to them. Or the water, uh, how can I say this? When they speak to the water, the water listens. The people who have it, zigamoya. When they speak into air, when they praying into the air, the air listens. The people who have eat sunyas and daba, when they speak to the herbs, when they touch herbs, the herbs listen to them and do what is needed. Same as for the people who um have eat sunyas and When they speak to the water, and the water listens to them. Because they have a very strong connection to Water. These are the type of people who do not heal through anything else but water. Yes, they might use a washer. They might use um what what they usually use in Gambia. It is wangani um a slaughter. They usually use a slaughter for to get cool. They use it sometimes they do use a washer, but they use a slaughter to cool, and they also use water more than anything else. These are the type of people you want them to take you to water for cleansing because they know how to cleanse you uh these are the type of people who are clear voyant they are clear voyant they can see into the future they don't hear about the future they don't uh get thoughts about the future but they can see into the future these are the type of people who when you go to consult to them you will hear them saying gibona they see, they see, they see a lot, and they they question you a lot when you when you go for a consultation to them, because they keep on seeing things and they keep on seeing things and they wanna put the picture together. 
so that's why they'll question everything they'll question you uh i don't want to be very long 10 minutes now let's move on let's get to the um, yellow one the yellow e jersey somebody who wears the plain yellow e jersey um, I'm not going to talk about the e Pambano and uh, the stars, the Ankh, Eguba Kona, Emova. I'm not going to touch on that. That's a topic for another day. Today in Jinkulumanga Makalas only. I think I said that. I think so. Um, so, those who wear the yellow Amajazi are people Abahamba Namasola deities. These people are uh, have some somewhat a connection with the inzunza. Not to say these people are people who have inzunza. They have a very strong connection to inzunza. If you are somebody who watches uh or like who is often viewing my channel Uzoazi, or you know that I've spoken about the Inzunza child being somebody of Aniswani Langa. You understand? These people are, are very, 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 um, they bring light into your life. These are the type of people that when they touch your things, when you want them to do something for you, the solar deities listen. They shine upon you. These people, when they touch you, your things brighten up. They have a Midas touch. Everything these people touch turn to gold because their golden sun shines upon them. I don't want to be long because I don't know much about this, but I know good these people are very powerful. And you you won't see a lot of people wearing yellow. They do wear yellow, but not like, like ooh, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot. You understand? So I'll move on from this. And red or maroon. If your e jersey is red, then uhamba. Nizal Kazi Feminine energies. If your each as is maroon, then Uhamba Namakel. Masculine energies. Ah uh, these people who wear these types of amateurs have a very, 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 very strong linkage with the Inzunza spirit. These are the ones from the yellow till the end. These people have a very strong relation uh, with Inzunza, especially the maroon and red ones. If it's red, it's usually um, feminine spirits, old feminine spirits, is a Sekaya who are on a mission to 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 fix something they need to fix something a kai and it is usually umsam it usually has to do with umsam was a kai there is something that they need to fix umsam was a kai when it's a, the red one when it's the maroon one can be a similar case but usually so uh, they're very powerful makesha lao and they have a very strong relationship with Inzunza. Now, uh, with these ones, I'm not going to say what they show in this particular manner because when it comes to spirits that have a very strong linkage to the Inzunza spirit, Inzunza is like, it has a lot of spirits with it. So, there is no one particular way to show using it. It uses a lot of ways you can see you can hear you can sometimes it comes as, as thoughts you understand they communicate through you in every possible way sometimes you 
ask a question in your head and then something on TV comes on because Inzunza communicates in every possible way. So Lana is where I won't, you know, justify or I not justify man, where I won't um pinpoint a specific manner of communicating with your ancestors because it can be any way. And then last but not least, I wanted to speak about the black one. The black ijazi. The black ijazi is when now we are speaking about the inzunza ukobo. The inzunza straight, straight, straight. Like, I don't know how to say this in any other way, but it is like we're specifically speaking about the inzunza spirit now. When we talk about the red, the black one. The black one, it can either be full black or it can be black and maroon or black and red. Which is why I keep on saying black, uh, maroon and red have a very strong link with the Inzunza spirit. Um, the Inzunza, I think I've said a lot about Inzunza spirit. I will say something in future for Tsinangayo. And I will, the next video, I want to make the hierarchy of Inzunza, like different types of Inzunzas, as I have elaborated before. But now I want to put them from highest till, you know, least or lowest. Because many people, they say it in different ways. They say it in different ways. And from what I know. So, Minangizeno Luazi, that I know. And I want to share that knowledge with you guys. So, um, as I said, it's usually red or maroon and black. Even Isipira Sakona becomes full black. But usually Ziba like double colors, red or maroon and black. And uh, um, I think that's it for today. Uh, oh, okay. There's this thing that people, when we talk about the Inzunza and the Inzunza people or the Inzunza children wearing black, uh, and then people say, no, black is Uktagata, black is witchcraft, black is negative energy, black is this and that, that and this. People, you need to understand that that is not how it is. The inzunza lays low. And that's just it. It lays low. It, it it is a source of light in the darkness. That is what it means. You understand? Isebenza wherever a kaya. If a kaya there was somebody who I sebenza amakamba maybe. And then somebody is born with the spirit. It is always, always going to shed that darkness. It shed. Will always move, remove that darkness and bring light. A kai. The inzunza works in the darkness to bring the light to a kai. They are very closely related to solar deities, water deities. They are water deities. Now, um, to those people who say, no, if you wear black, then we are Takata. Then I, I, there's nothing I can say to you guys. But to those who understand and those who receive the knowledge that I give out, uh, and I will keep on giving on giving you guys knowledge but you know because uh, I'm not that much into what is this thing uh, I'm not I'm not posting a lot anymore but I will try and post and um, yeah have a great day or great night great evening whenever you are listening to great morning whenever you're listening to this video or this audio i think 
Ah, nilaliyal. Ema kusini TV, ngia valilisa.